Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Snowflake. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what are the different questions normally get asked during the Snowflake interview. We are going to also see how to answer those questions in detail. So let's start. The very first question normally interviewer asks in the Snowflake interview is nothing but what is Snowflake and what are the key features of it? To answer this question, make sure your answer is short, concise, but should give the details about the what is the requested. I would re answer this question like this. Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse platform and it has number of key features such as SQL-based query language, a multi-cluster and shared data architecture. It also supports both structured and semi-structured data. So if you see the answer, it talks about briefly about what is the type of the Snowflake. It is a cloud-based. It also talks about the, the programming language which can be used to access it, that is SQL-based query language. It talks about the hardware, that is multi-cluster. And it talks about the data, that is structured and semi-structured. So this way you can precisely answer the question. Now the next question is, how does Snowflake differ from the other data warehouse solutions? This is very obvious because when you go for the Snowflake, you might explore the other, Snow, other data warehouse solutions, such as Oracle also provide the data warehouse solution and so many other. So how it is different, how Snowflake is different than the existing data warehouse solution? So answer could be like this. Snowflake is a in unique in its ability of scale and compute independently. That means when we store the data and when we perform the or the perform the compute operation, these two compute and storage happen independently. In case of traditional data warehouse, compute and storage happen on the same hardware system. So that's the main key difference between the Snowflake and the data warehouse solution. It also supports both structured and semi-structured data as we answered in our previous questions, we are repeating here as well. And it's a built-in support for the data sharing and the time tra travel. These are the important key features because of which it is different than the traditional data warehouse. Interviewer might ask the next question that is nothing but can you explain the concept of virtual warehouse in Snowflake? You might have remembered some of the things about the virtual warehouse in my previous tutorial. And it is nothing but a virtual warehouse in Snowflake, it is a set of sources that is used to execute queries. It includes specific number of compute clusters and a specific amount of storage. So you can create your own virtual machines based on your need. Next question is nothing but about the concurrency and query performance. How does Snowflake handle concurrency and query performance? Snowflake uses multi-cluster as we discussed in our very first question. It has a shared data architecture to handle the concurrency and the query performance. Queries are normally automatically routed to the appropriate compute cluster based on the data being accessed and the sources available. If one of the node has a more sources and the has more data to storage or the storage space is enough, then your query will be executed on that node. So this way we can tell the interviewer that you are aware about the architecture and you can also tell them that you can achieve the query performance. You don't have to explicitly, you don't have to do any manual operation to achieve the query performance. It is internally handled. So if any questions come about, come about how do you handle the performance or how do you achieve the performance, query performance, the answer is here. The next question is how does Snowflake handles the data security? It is a very important question because Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse. So security is always concerned for the client. Snowflake provides n number of security features, which includes data encryption, data um, secure data sharing, low level security, and so on. It also integrates with external security system, which include Azure AD or Okta and many more. 
So because of this multiple integration with the external security system, as well as it has an encryption, we can definitely achieve the data security in Snowflake. It was easy to remember these things because normally we are using Okta or um, like you might be using the Google Authenticator for accessing your apps. So it's in the similar way, uh, data security can be achieved in the Snowflake as well. How, the next question could be, how does Snowflake handle the data loading and ETL? I have seen these questions more often on my YouTube channel when people ask like, how really data load happens in Snowflake? Because Snowflake is a cloud, how we connect to load the data from our local system to the Snowflake environment. That connection directly does not exist. So we have the staging environment available. So Snowflake supports a variety of data loading and ETL option, which includes like bulk loading using copy command. So you have to put the data on the stage environment and from the stage you can push the data to the tables by using copy command. You can use the streaming data using a put command. So the copy and put, these are the important commands. And also it uses the snow pipe, which is used for near real time data loading. So there are three options. One is copy command, then the streaming data using put, and then using the snow pipe for the near real time loading of the data. So these are the three options we can leverage. Now the next question can be more elaborative. It could be related to, can you explain the concept of time travel? So it's not about the, when we see the movie about the time travel, it's not related to the, that as in uh, you're clear with the question. So time travel in the Snowflake we are referring here. So the time travel in Snowflake allows to query historical versions of the table. So Snowflake maintains that historical version. Suppose you want to query a one month year old of the data on your given table, you can do that. Or if you have the database views and you want to query like five months older of the data, or if you have the longer versioning of the data, maybe two years old and so on. So it created the versioning and you can query that data. And what happens, this feature which allows us to discover the, discover the data that has been deleted or to compare the data at existed at a different point of time. So those are two important use cases. If you delete the data and if you want to search the deleted data, you can use the time travel. You can also compare the data set in case you have a corruption of the data scenario where you lost some of the data and you can compare and recover the data as well. The next question is about the backup. So how does Snowflake handle the data unloading and backup? So to answer these questions, uh, we definitely may need to mention about the database storage such as Amazon S3, Azure Bob storage, or Google Cloud storage and so on. So Snowflake supports unloading the data to the external stages such as Amazon S3, Azure Bob storage, Google Cloud storage using the unload command. So we earlier see the two commands copy and put which is used to push the data from the staging environment to the Snowflake. But to get backup or to get backup as well as unloading, it uses the unload command. It also has a feature called Snowflake Backup, which is a fully managed and automated backup service, which enables point in time recovery. Uh, to learn about point in time recovery, I'll specially create a separate video because it's a more detailed concept. So let's uh, learn, understand the next question. And the next question is nothing but about the data archival and retention, how long you can retain the data, right? So that's very common questions too. So Snowflake supports data archival and retention through the use of the, we just saw the functionality, that's nothing but the time travel. It also has a policy called a data retention. So this time travel and data retention goes hand in hand. The first one, the time travel allows us to easily access the historical version of the data or point in time, while the data retention allows us to automatically delete the data which is no longer needed. So suppose if you put the data retention of uh, six months, the data which is uh, less, uh, uh, less than six months or greater than six months will be automatically deleted. That's the retention period. 
and the last question in this tutorial is nothing but how will you explain the snowflake a data sharing so even though there are this data sharing is very important nowadays we quickly share this video you might share this video to your friends or you share some of the data from one colleagues or other colleagues we similarly in snowflake also we do the data sharing among the different business groups because snowflake contains all the lines of business data and it can be shared across the multiple business so how can we do that so snowflake allows uh, secure data sharing through uh, with the help of the concept called shares a share is a specific set of data that can be shared with other snowflake accounts or users shared data remains in original account it is access to the secure and read only connection only so that means it is just a single set of data which is maintained through the shares which can be shareable component user cannot or, or a specific account cannot update or delete this data they can just access in read only mode so this way you can share the data and that function is also available in snowflake so how do you like this tutorial if you enjoy uh, this tutorial and if you have any feedback about this tutorial let me know i'll be more than happy to create such a more interview questions and answers kind of uh, videos on snowflake and other technology and if you have not subscribed my channel yet then kindly subscribe my channel thank you for your support and have a wonderful time